Yeehaw! This thing tracks so nice. When you're in a calm wind, you don't even see this thing move at all. And as windy as it is right now, it's just hauling. It's just tracking so nice. Look how low you can get to the ground without even in this wind. I mean, it's just stupid. Here, let me bring it back. Yeehaw! Hey guys, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have one of the nice newest planes coming from uh, FMS Models. It's the version 2 Futura. Uh, I got Steve on the camera filming this. We're going to just kind of talk a little bit about it and then we'll go out and fly it here. Um, we've been flying the version 1 for at least 2-3 years now. It is a killer airplane. It's kind of hard to imagine how they can improve on the airplane and they've only done a few little things to it that I'm going to show you. Mostly they've changed the paint job on it, but it's still the great awesome flying jet with really sweet landing gear it's always been. But they went ahead, in addition to the paint, went ahead and put a higher amp uh, ESC. I think it's up to 100 now or something. And they've changed the KV on the motor and gone up, I think, 100. I think it was 21. I think it's 2100 now or something. Anyway, slightly higher KV motor on the thing. And it's pretty awesome because it assembles with only 10 screws. There's six screws around the back side. There's four underneath. And, uh, and that's it, guys. You put it together. Rods, horns, linkages. They're already installed on this thing. It just has the whole plane overall. Once you get it out there flying, it's great high speed flight, great knife edge flight, great slow speed and high speed. It's just just an awesome airplane overall. One thing that they did change uh, that they improved, and I'm going to show you guys what it is right here. And this is going to be happening to all the FMS airplanes here. I'll get this over on is the uh, the wireless wing connectors. And I'm going to unscrew one of the wings just to kind of show you how nice and easy this thing goes together. This wing's a little bit tight, which is good. It's nice to have a tight fitting plane. You really don't in most cases need to disassemble this plane probably hardly at all because it's so small and it fits anywhere but if you do need to get the wings off this is pretty much how most of the FMS planes are you wiggle this just a little bit and it is tight you want it to be tight and it pops out of there and there and I'm gonna put it right here are your wireless wing connectors and this is the new style they were using uh, Steve can you get in on that okay they were using bullet connectors, which I honestly never had any problem with. But these are supposed to be a little more durable, a little less prone to either breaking or just kind of contact and so forth. But you can see how nice this whole thing fits together. One spar goes right in there. You can put the spar, uh, uh, you can take the spar, you can put the spar in the canopy for transport. And, uh, and there they just plugged in. But that's your wireless wing connector, and that's the new style that they're starting to put on pretty much all of the new FMS airplanes. So, but you can see how nice this thing screws together. It's a very, very tight fitting thing. If your holes don't quite line up, just grab a, a wrench or something and put it in there and just kind of push it over and it'll fit in place. But it goes together real nice and it's a real snug fit. Again, a little bit tight, but that's what you, that's kind of what you want when you've got wings and tails and stuff like that. You want it to be a nice, snug, tight fit. But you can see how nice these plastic parts are and how well all this stuff just fits together here. Uh, Steve, uh, I'm going to cycle the gear. You can see how nice, I think it's the same landing gear as the older style one. And because you really can't improve on perfection there. There's just awesome landing gear. It absorbs the shock of gear. It's sprung right. And uh, that's it. Your rods, horns, linkages, everything are on the airplane and uh, you're good to go. One tip I will throw out there that I usually put in all my videos is just put a little bit of contact cement on your E-rings, okay, so they don't they don't fall off and then you're grounded for the flight and it just peels away and you can put more on if you need to service it, take it off or anything. Um, what I'm going to run in this thing, I run different batteries in this. One of the things I run is a 3700 roaring top. I also run a 4400 roaring top. You can use anything in this though. Um, the 5000 Admirals for Motion RC will fit in here nice. It's meant for like a 35, 37 up to a 4000, but I find the 37s uh, and the 44s are perfect for this airplane. So, um, and then inside, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, I have a telemetry module in there, which isn't working great right now, but it's showing me the voltage. So we'll go out there and do a short flight. All I have in here is one of these Hobby King seven or eight channels with a single antenna there and another one, I think, down here. So they're just 90 degrees to each other just to minimize signal loss. But you can see real simple battery just fits right in place. And what I'm going to do before we go fly, so we're going to get out here. It's getting a little windy here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot of this thing real fast. I'm going to unplug throttle up, take my throttle kill off. I'm going to replug in, make sure the landing gear switches down. I'm going to let it boot up and just let it uh, 
There we go. That sets my throttle range. And we're nice and smooth. You ready, Steve? Let's rock on out there. I'll put this on here. I'm going to do a quick, since we're in the shade here, do a quick flight control check. Make sure we're going right, left. I'm going to go mid rates. Um, the ailerons, I believe I had set up for, let me double check those because I just looked at them. Steve's like, here, yeah, you check those. Uh, I got 125% travel at full. I got 100 on the ailerons there at mid. And I've got 70%. Uh, so it seems like 100 to 70% is a good rate for this, this plane. Uh, elevator is as follows. Let's see. Elevator I've got. High rate is at actually 100% right here. You can see the movement. And then mid rate, I've got down at uh, 85, and I think that's where I'm flying at 85. And then for real high speed stuff, 70%. So um, let me take a look real quick too. One more thing I want to check, because we had this at Joan All. This is the first time out flying it since we've been to Joan All. I want to look at my horn positions. You can see the ailerons I got farthest out. And actually, even these I have farthest out, and it seems to be good at 85. You could probably move them in a notch, make it a little smoother, but in this case, the resolution is good. Uh, simple six-channel airplane. I have it set up basically six channels. Again, just like I do with most of my planes, with the exception of uh, the nose wheel and the rudder. I split the Y harness, put this into the rudder channel, put the nose wheel steering into an aux channel, and then just set it up on the knob and just made sure it went the right, right way and then mix the two together with a mix with your master as your rudder, your slave as your nose wheel steering and then just mix them together and you'll get both of them working normally the way you want but you can now trim the rudder that mostly helps out with the runways and stuff but uh, you ready Steve? I think I've talked enough. Oh wait let me check my flaps make sure the flaps are going down nice there's one setting I'll flip those around so you can kind of see how those look that's my takeoff setting that's neutral takeoff and landing setting. I don't think we're going to use them too much today because it's a little bit windy outside. But uh, all right, let's get the shades on and we'll rock on out there. It's a little windy. Everybody left us because it's too windy and we will head on out there. All right, guys, we made the long walk, 100 foot walk <laughs> out to the field here. All right, let's see what we got. It's a little windy here. Right, left, up, down, right, left. Flaps for takeoff. I'll use one. I think I'll use one setting for taking off here. So let's go. We'll taxi out. Yeah, it is windy out. Look at that thing take the shock, though. I mean, it's just awesome how well this thing takes the shock of landing and taxiing out. All right, you ready, Steve? Take it off! Right up there. Powering back right away just to conserve some power. Uh, let's see if she's trimmed. She's coming nose down on me. Just a hair. All right. It's been in my uh, trailer since Joan All. All right. Let's do what it does best. Let's go fast first. Into the wind. That is hauling butt. All right. Now it's going to go fast. Into the tailwind pass. Man, that thing screams. You can hear that motor howl. I don't know if you remember, Steve, the other one, but... It definitely makes quite a bit more howl than it used to, and that's that higher KV motor. I mean, it just growls. They're slow with the flaps in. Just at a crawl. This might be my favorite sport jet nowadays. It's just simply awesome. Power that up, I'll back it off a bit. My telemetry is not doing its thing there as far as the amp draw today, so we're going to kind of skip that here. Go upside down. Man, this thing is solid. Look at all that wind, Steve. Look how solid that thing is. I mean, it's fantastic, this airplane. Kill the power, let it just drop. Just trying to conserve some power. Power's off. Power's coming back in. Let me try to give you a knife, Steve, from left to right. It's a little windy for knife stuff, but... But, whoo, my bad, Steve, sorry. That was the wind blowing me. Let me get that a little farther out. Let's try. Yeah, the wind is just having its way here. Let me do it farther out. Don't want to hurt the cameraman. Yeah, that's full, almost full rudder, and it'll hold the knife pretty good. It's a little windy to be doing knives, and knives is not really my maneuver, but just for the heck of it. All right, I'm coming by fast, Steve, because this plane, this is meant to go fast. 
Yeehaw! This thing tracks so nice. When you're in a calm wind, you don't even see this thing move at all. And as windy as it is right now, it's just hauling. It's just tracking so nice. Look how low you can get to the ground with that, even in this wind. I mean, it's just stupid. Here, let me bring it back. Yeehaw! Just awesome. All right, let me see if I can give you a, a landing out front here. I'm only going to go one setting of flaps. We can bring some power in here. Yeah, that wind is just getting under us. Here, let's bring it back. But that's outstanding. You know, I think I'm going to keep it there, Steve, for now. I think that's all we're going to do. See, I'm at 2235. This is a 3700 pack. Let me drive it back. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. That, that'll be the flight for today. I think I'm getting low on the battery. Uh, this thing eats up a lot of energy, of course. So, you know, going with a 37 pack makes it really light and really perform. And if you go with 44, a lot of guys run 5,000. You can go even longer with it. It's just super, super windy today. But awesome performing. Isn't that nice, Steve? Even as rocks, even as windy as it is, it's a real stable jet. When, when you're in calm wind, this thing is just simply outstanding. So uh, anyway, guys, this is uh, FMS's new by Tomahawk Designs of Germany. Again, this is a, this is actually a, uh, a miniaturized version of the uh, the Tomahawk design Futura, which is a larger turbine airplane. So it's just licensed by FMS, you know, to make a, a smaller, more affordable uh, version of the airplane. It's simply awesome. The Futuras have just known for being just tremendous sport planes. So, Steve, you got any comments? Sweet plane. All right, guys. Uh, this is available at uh, Horizon Hobby, FMSmodel.com. Check it out there. Again, the version uh, 2 Futura. One of the baddest little 80 millimeter jets around. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching RC Informer. And as always, guys, we will see you next time.